hello guys so i have a quick update to share with you uh, before then good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on your location at this time of the day all right uh, we are still talking about the aftermath of february 25 election um we already know the details of the whole story i'm talking about the petition of uh, peter obi and atiku against uh the outcome and the process of uh, the election where i next declared to enable the winner of uh, that election all right so um the issue on ground as we already know that um may 29 will be the inauguration of uh Tinibu. and then the, the issue on ground now is that um, some people is of opinion and also argue that Tinibu should not be sworn in as president until the court cases challenging his victory in the presidential election tribunal are resolved and then the other people is of opinion that um, it has happened before. Why will Tinubu's case um, uh, be used as a, a case study? Or why will Tinubu uh, be used as an escape goods um, issues like that, okay? But however, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Uh, Mike Ahamba, has um, stated that the issue of whether or not a candidate can be prevented from assuming office if the election is being challenged in court, has been before the Supreme Court in 2003 case involving uh, Buari and Olusegun Obasanjo. Okay, I'm going to share the video for you guys to listen to what Ahamba said. And then, um, in case you forgot, Ahamba was um, part of the legal team that represented Buari uh, in the case. That was in 2003. Uh, he filed in the court challenging Obas and George's victory, okay? Uh, said the Apex Court ruled that in line with the law, if a person is elected and his or her election is challenged in the court, the person shall be sworn in and remain in office until the court determine the case and makes a final decision. Okay, let me allow you to listen to what Ahamba said. Of course, um, in Kenya, okay, let me not uh, bore you too much. Um, allow you to listen to what Ahamba said. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. Uh, election petition cases before uh, inauguration of uh, a president elect. Some have cited the case of Kenya uh, and some other African countries where uh, these cases are strictly dealt with even before inauguration. Uh, how Very will you good. speak to this in regard to the Nigerian situation? This issue. I raised this issue in the Buhari vs. Obasanjo case, 2003. And I said, permit me to use the balance of some young men. He gets as he did. If you have a serious case against somebody, that's where he did. Give him authority to defend himself. So the Supreme Court told me that that was what the law provided. But the law says the person declared remains in office. It was Gregory, just Gregory, what he did, who was the legal thing to let him. He said, no, the person I let him declared remains in office. And he was right. So all these things we are talking about now, because of some private interest, cannot change the position of the Labour Act, which says that the person declared remains in office. The person declared for the House remains in the House. So what you can do is have a finite hearing, which is, and they will make it earlier. That's the only way out. Through amendment of the, these the provisions of the Electoral Act, uh, should we seek uh, set out to achieve these amendments in terms of future elections and a, a judicial contest? Pardon? Should we then begin the process? Will it be desirable to amend our laws to ensure that these cases are dispensed with before inauguration? Yes, I believe that what we should touch up is the procedure. The, electoral, uh, the, the evidence act at the electoral test. Now, how do you expect a petitioner say who is a presidential candidate, a presidential election uh, petitioner to tender evidence for thousands of uh, units? Within one fifty days, after which procedure takes care of the rest. 
Harvey. That's why I said you change everybody's name. Concluding uh, in, in, in 180 days. Well, good intention. Say that law. I said this because I said this because the it's not possible. We have to assembly member, house of rest member, governor, senator, or presidential candidate to tender their evidence within the same period of time. Let's think about it. This issue arose in 1983. In the case of that, we approve across the uh, uh, too And the Supreme Court, in a big judgment written by uh, Wade Bay, I don't know the word, but the word, said that if a person comes to court and is not allowed to ventilate the gradient because of time is locked up, can he be said to be given justice? All of the answer the question in the negative. How do we call you his letter to now make it law that somebody can be so to court? I've done a lesson to Easton in which at the last minute, the other side brought the question that I did not sign the petition. To the greatest surprise, the panel broke out my petition. At that time, we couldn't have gone to court of appeal and come back to hear it. So I used what I did, you know. Things were finished with the evidence. I called on the, on the court of appeal that if they found that I signed the petition, they should please do what the other courts have done. And they did, and we won in the court of appeal. 